Hello everyone and welcome back to a Let's Play of Dead Space 2 with your host in Validation X145 and Isaac Clark as your guide. Where we last left off, we had explored some of the background of the Unitology religion, and we were just about to meet Dana, possibly in the next room, and exploring all the uh, creepiness of this um, wing, shall we say. Help infidels. And there it is again, the sound that keeps cutting out. Bizarre. Anyway. Whoop. Look out here. Anyway, time to go into indoctrination. Where hopefully we won't have the same fate happen to us as a lot of these other people. Namely, becoming a Unitology member. Have you ever felt like you were meant to be part of something bigger? No. Then maybe Unitology. You wish. And the sound cut out again. What the hell? Cause process convergence. Imagine it all mankind. I think the... I think the video broke. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Well, hopefully that subtitle doesn't get stuck on my screen. Oh, there it goes. Okay, that burning of the skulls was not creepy at all. The love no, the no love, uh, no love, right. The no war, no fear, no hate thing is, uh, pretty cool sounding. But, considering what's going on here, I don't think that's ever gonna happen. And considering how diverse human thought really is when you think about it, <laughs> I don't think being unified under a marker is really going to happen. And this convergence that is spoken of, it doesn't really do much of anything. And, and again with the burning skulls. What? Oh. Hello. Wow, this game is killing me right now. Bizarre. Some spears in a stasis pack. This looks like a text log. Yep. Alright, what do we got? Recruit test results. Indoctrination test phase one. Results for Casey Milham. Desire to socially belong high. Unassertiveness low. Gullibility low. Tones for ambiguity high. Cultural disillusionment low. Idealism high, susceptibility to trance-like states low, self-confidence high, a desire for spiritual meaning low, awareness of group influence on individuals high. Hmm. This subject Please is. Please replace the views for the observation center door in the junction panel. Vandalism in the church is not permitted. Oh, shut up. This subject is highly unlikely to stay affiliated with the church after a short period of time. We would expect him to exit the system after the tithing requirements section of initiation. We should invite him to go as far as he'd like, but do not book future earnings against him. Uh-huh. So they have a system where they basically do a background check on you? And test you to see your different mental things, and that's that, I don't I that's I don't uh, I don't like that. Hello, miss. You're a little dead. All right, so what's going on here? What do you got here.
Alright, I'm gonna leave that in the indoctrination room thingy. That way, if stuff starts going down, we have a chance to escape. Now, what is this system, I wonder? Oh, that's bizarre. It's already written in the text of the marker. Um, I don't know if that's just an illusion or if it's actually like that. And if that's the case, well... It's a mild bit disturbing. Actually, I don't know why it would be disturbing. I think it's actually kind of cool, but whatever. Observation center. Let's go. Um, hello? Excuse me. Thank you. Alright. Oh, great. Oh, you bastard. Can you turn this the right way? Stop it. Get out of my face, Christ. Why will this thing turn? Just die already. Some, I feel like this game is becoming less responsive. What the hell? I gotta use another medkit because of that. What is this, a model of Titan Station? Oh, great. You gotta be kidding me. I haven't seen one of these in a while. That was very poor timing. Okay, that should be fine. Come on. Oh, what? Whatever, Nicole. You don't actually exist. Marker certainly likes messing with my mind, though, doesn't it? That is really annoying. I wonder eh, if there was any sort of, like, Half-Life 2 G-Man hiding on one of these monitors. I would have missed it already. Oh, well. What's this? Oh, that's helpful. Turn it around. Stupid. Okay, let's see. Hey, plasma energy. That was not what I wanted to aim at. There we go. Just because it's annoying. Sorry we are full. Huh. What's here? No idea. And more legible stuff. And a save station. What's in here? A maintenance hatch, that's what's in here. Why are the clocks 12? And apparently somebody had some dirty magazines back here. Great. A security suit. Interesting. Uh, that is not what I grabbed at all. I wonder though, is there other stuff in here? Let's get that out of here. Let's empty the shelves and find out, shall we? That is not where I aim, you stupid. Come on. Got some plasma energy. That's always good. Get out of here. I said get out of here. Thank you. And you can get out of here as well. Screw off. Okay, physics. Work with me here. Thank you. Jeez. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything here, really. Well, that was interesting. My stasis just refilled. Nice to know there's a recharge mechanic. Alright, let's go through the maintenance hatch. I can always get the security suit later. And I don't think I can... Oh, I can go back. But for some reason, it's locked. Okay. What 
I... What? Oh, oh, okay. Apparently I don't strafe when I'm in these corridors. I can only turn left and right. Good enough. Oh, hello. Uh-huh. Why my helmet came off for that, I do not know. I guess it's thought controlled somehow. Oh, power note. Wait, what? Okay. Wait, can I go back? I can. That's bizarre. Why would I want to go back? Well, I didn't get the security suit, didn't I? Ooh, a thousand credits. Cool. Wait, my stamina recharges on its own? All the way to the top? What the... Uh, okay, whatever. Hi! Creepy Alton figure. It's through here. This is mildly disturbing. Wait, was it? Well, that's mildly confusing. For a second, I thought I was here already. Oh, that was covering this. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's see here. Um... What is all this? Oh, we're over here now. Cool. Well, time for insanely long load times. Or not. It's mildly creepy. I'm gonna go this way. I have things I would like to do, including a security suit. I hear body parts flopping around. Okay, this is going much better than before. Having to wait entire minutes for this to, to fix itself. Alright, let's see how much that security suit is. Security suit is 20,000. Weapon bonus. Pulse rifle receives a 5% bonus to damage. Okay... Purchase guarantees a minimum of 15 inventory slots and 10% armor. Your rig retains the highest upgrade of armor and inventory. Okay. Alright, I guess we'll buy it. I find it a little strange, though, that... None of the suits gave you gave you extra weapon functionality. That seems a little bit bizarre to me. Oh well. Now they'll never be able to tell me apart from the other security guards. Right? Of course it's not gonna happen. Oh, we have three power notes now. Cool. Let's go ahead and upgrade a weapon, shall we? A little bit bummed that we haven't seen any weapon schematics. Because I totally feel like we probably could. I really don't want to get any of these, any of these, uh, what are apparently DLC weapons, but... Wait a second. Okay, no, that's a pulse rifle. Wait, we already have the weapons available to us? Or did I get the line gun schematic without actually realizing I had it? I think I got the line gun schematic without actually realizing I had it. Whoops. 
Oh well. I can live with that. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a line gun. Um, go ahead and store these. And since our stasis recharges, I'm just going to sell this. And I keep the engineering suit. Interesting. Hmm. And I guess we can move some of these rounds over. Alright. Well, since we have a line gun, I guess we're going to be upgrading that instead. Although I would like the extra points into capacity and damage. I'll do that. Okie dokie. Alright, and I should still have enough for... Probably one or two more... Pla uh, plasma nodes, right? More power nodes. That was a bit much in the way of money, but... Uh, at least it doesn't cost us at the bench, right? And I'm sure if I wanted to, I could sell the engineering suit for a few thousand. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade my HP really quick. And then line gun upgrades. What do we start with you? Okay, damage is already pretty high. Um... Capacity will increase it by one. Six shots would be good. Let's go ahead and give it six. Okie dokie. I think we are set to go. Alright, let's head over to where we need to go. Excuse me, sign. And places to be, things to do. Alright, well, so much for meeting Dana, but whatever. Alright, let's see, I think it was this door? Yes, it was, okay. Yes, this very bloody area, this is definitely where we want to be. I think so. Alright, where do we want to go? We want to go there. I believe that door is where we came from. Or is it that door? Uh, let me just check this door real quick, see where, where it takes us. Uh, yeah, we've been in here already. Alright. Well, since we have nothing else to do, I guess we can uh, finally head through to our objective. See if we can actually meet Dana, finally. Nope, it's more creepy things. What the hell is that sound? Excuse me, uh, excuse me, couch. God, it's dark in here. Did Jordan to survive? Don't think so. Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, we do have some, some boxes here. And an elevator for the infidels. Hey, some wine racks. I'll take those. And more line racks. Excuse me, I would like to see what is below us. Okay, that is not where we were before. And there's some... weird monsters calling from below. Alright, let's see here. Pretty sure that's where we came from. Yeah. Okay. I guess the elevator's our only option. If I could not walk into things. If it's dark for you guys, it's really dark for me. <laughs> really dark. I can barely see where I am. There's a lot of bloody handprints. Save yourself. I'm trying to do that. Don't know how successful I'll be considering everything, though. 
Hello? Okay. Bizarre. It's not dripping. Well, I don't think Altman had any expectations of this happening. What the hell is that sound? Hello? Oh, hey up there. How's it going? You're a bit twitchy, aren't you? Okay, I can totally hit him from here. Oh, that's great. He's invulnerable. Uh, it's that bug again. They actually have to be scripted in to be vulnerable. That's, uh, that's too funny. That's really pathetic, actually, that they have to do that. This is quite the build-up. I hear you. You gonna come out? Nope, you're just gonna stalk me. Very creepily. All of this is closed off for some reason. Well... I wonder what happens if we step in the middle here. Anything? Not really. Just some noises. Okay. Well, let's get out of this area and... What the hell? Data unlocked out. There's something in the church. It, it broke the door. Hang on. I'll try to override all the gates in the area. Are you stupid? Uh, there's something out here, too. Well, I guess we're gonna finally get introduced to our, uh... Little puppy friends. Okay, I guess we're not gonna see whatever's behind the door. Hello? Do not like. Whoa, hello. Ow, bastard. Isaac, I don't think I can open now. This is actually a really bad place to be. Little hacking thing. Where are you going? There you are. Oh, jeez, what the hell? You guys can sure crawl fast. Anyone else getting a serious Velociraptor impression from Jurassic Park? They even have some of the same sounds. Oh, hello. Nice try, dumbass. Worked once, it's not gonna work again. You coming? Come on. You coming? That was predictable. Alright. Well, I think our threat is over for now. You there? Yep. Isaac, I can't unlock the door. Can you do anything from your room? Let me see what I can do. Okay. Once you're through, you'll go through the funerary wing of the church and down into the crypt. It's very important you not disturb. No. No, Earth Cup can't land from here. Not from here. Dana! Dana! Important that I want! 
Well, so much for that. Well, I think we know what we can do here. Did that just say Zebra Industries? That was interesting. Okay. Same place twice, that's, uh, okay. It's a little minigame. Um... Okay, I guess, uh... Yeah, this is looking very much like, um... Some very diabolical form of the raptors. Okay. I'll live with it. Not quite as terrifying, though. I would be much more scared if uh, there was an actual raptor that jumped out from behind there and leaped at me. That would be pretty damn scary. But this is dead space. No... DNA resequencing and genetic engineering of extinct animals and all that yeah, all that jazz. Got another power node, that's good. Those look like line racks. I wonder, would those spawn in normally if you didn't have the line gun? I'm getting a ton of ammunition for this thing now. It's rather sudden, too. Infidels! Alright, excuse me, couch. Alright, into the funerary wing. Boy. Not totally looking forward to experiencing this whole... No access to the conduit room, unfortunately. Not looking forward to this whole, uh... Dead people thing. Oh! Hello there. I did not realize you were there. Cool. Uh, what else is there? What's these weird little messages? What does it say? N eight eleven. Is that what that says? No idea. West Foyer Reunion Chapel, Crypt Access. Why does she want us to go to the crypt? That's a wee bit disturbing to me. Where's this gonna take us? Ah, this leads to the other side of the church. Okay. Um. We've picked up a few things, so I think what we can do is just go ahead and store some of it away and sell some other stuff. Oh boy, those are the only two med packs we have right now. That's not good. I have a lot of this ammunition right now. I don't really want all of that. Okay, so how many things is this? This is six. We have ten items currently. Eh, five slots should be enough. I hope. And while we're here, we may as well just pump another power node into the... into something. I don't know what, though. Alright, let's see. We have that. And then we have that. Um... Yeah, it's going to damage. Why not? Make it a really nice secondary weapon. Alright. Well, this is just about to hit the 30 minute mark. This is a uh, relatively short episode, but um, made a little bit of progress and seen a little bit more of the Unitology Church. Not terribly happy with it, unfortunately, but uh, when you're being chased by raptor-like necromorphs, what can you expect? I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.